Hi everyone, so now we're away with another review and uh, this time is my favourite Transformer, Prowl. I've got an entire shelf dedicated to him. I'm not entirely sure how many I've actually got, but there's a fair few. Um, and the reason I've got his Siege version out as well is because um, this version of Pearl actually shares some uh, transformation sequences with this Siege version. So I just wanted to show that off. Um, uh, you probably can't tell, but, uh, Cyberverse Prowl's not transformed completely right. And that's because he's been disagreeing with me and not behaving, so I just gave up in the end. Um, I'll get it right one day when I'm not actually trying to do the damn thing. Because that's how Murphy's Law works. I don't like Murphy's Law. <laughs> Um, we saw Prowl from the end of season one through till about, I think this maybe the second or third episode of season three, where he took a, uh, shot meant for Optimus Prime and, um, it hit him in the, uh, chassis or in the bump, uh, in the bumper. Uh, because pretty much every version of him has got a very prominent uh, front bumper. Um, and obviously being a kid's show, a young kid's show, uh, they couldn't just outright show him dying. So um, what they did was they just, uh, they never brought him back in. They never talked about him again after that. He uh, just faded away um so uh, that essentially was their way of killing him off um they uh brought back um they mentioned hound uh we didn't see what happened to him but they did insinuate that he went uh completely bonkers and had to be killed um as well so again they didn't show it because it is a younger kid's show so they've got to be careful with some of the stuff that they do show. Uh, because, well, not all kids are unaffected by things. I mean, I grew up with uh, Alien. But I wasn't as affected by it as, uh, say, my sister. I didn't have nightmares watching it. Uh, she would have. Um, and it's the same thing with uh, kids shows. I know some of it uh, is a bit ridiculous in the way that... Uh, things are censored <coughs> but at, at other points there are also kids who legitimately are terrified of things that won't terrify another kid so um my sister and I would get scared of different things um she's not scared of spiders I'm terrified of them she can't watch the walking dead I love it so um They've got to do, they've got to try and find a balancing act where, you know, uh, it's, it's fair to everyone. You know, there's something that everyone can enjoy out there, uh, no matter the age. And that's what Cyberverse does. It's, you know, yeah, it's geared, geared to younger kids, but it's got a mix of everything for young kids to enjoy. It's got a bit of action. It's got some comedy. It's got, you know, all this, these really cool uh, creatures, the scraplets which I absolutely love. It's got, you know, shark decons. It's got these weird, fantastical creatures. It's got space battles. And uh, it does have death, but I think they learned from what happened with Optimus and the uh, rest of the cast um, not to traumatise the uh, younger Transformers fans. So... They're a little more careful with how they kill off um, characters these days. They uh, don't tr try not to traumatise people that way. Um, and the original Prowl's death was as traumatic as uh, the rest of the shuttle. Um, not as tra uh, traumatic as Optimus's death obviously was, but um, watching that shuttle scene obviously would have terrified uh, quite a few kids. Uh, as well, especially if they were fans of those characters. Um, 
and yeah, they're just trying to prevent traumatizing. I cannot think of going. Uh, let's let's just uh, insinuate that he died, not actually show it. We don't want to traumatize him again. So um, yeah, he uh, was actually hit uh, in the exact same spot as the G1 Prowl was. Um, so he suffered the same sort of injury, but they did it in such a way that no one really thought about it. They just thought, oh, he's injured, we'll see him again. And um, by the time um, uh, things kicked up again, no one's thinking about him. No one's going, oh, where's Prowl? So, um, yeah. Uh, they did the same thing with uh, Deadlock. Um, I think the only two they really showed dying were uh, Cheetor and Shockwave, and that was because it was um, it was something that needed to be shown. And again, it was done in such a way that it wouldn't necessarily traumatize kids um, the way they did in '86. And Hasbro's never gonna live that down. Nah. Um. But yeah, as you can see, uh, he did not want to uh, transform properly for me um, into his ultimate. So he's very naughty. He's a very naughty prowl. And I don't normally have uh, this much trouble transforming Prowl. Uh, he does have another piece to match this site. Um, I don't know what happened to it. It kind of came off. And I haven't found it yet. Um, I also haven't gone looking for it yet either. So, um, yeah, it'll be skulking around in my room somewhere. I'll find it eventually. Um... But at the moment, not a clue. Not a clue whatsoever. Hey. I'm sorry guys, that's the cat. He uh, likes to get up on the on his cat tower and make a racket. And as I said, uh, it, this does share similarities to two of them, so uh, you'll probably see some uh, sequences that you recognize i think there's i think about 90 percent of the sequence uh is shared between the two of them so um but unlike that prowl this one has no issues transforming for me whatsoever he's a good boy Unfortunately, don't have uh, Earthrise Prowl yet. I'm hoping to get him eventually. <sighs> I'm 
My friend at um, Playground Zero currently has the Prowl Einhard pack available for pre-order. Um, he's also just acquired, uh, he's also getting uh, the Earthrise Scorpionok, um, as well as the three pack of the Rainmakers and the two pack of Thundercracker and Skywalk for Earthrise. Um, he will ship worldwide, so if you're in America and you're having trouble getting a hold of any of those, uh, hop on over to um, Playground Zero on Facebook and um, you can pre-order them from there. So, um, I think even the head sculpt is a little similar, uh, especially in the chevron, but that might just be me. Um, I I like the paint. Um, not everyone's a big fan of the flat fact that uh, he's uh, blue and white, but I rather like the blue and white, and that might be because um, my version of Prowl was blue and white. That's um, when he transformed into robot mode. That was his scheme, blue and white. He wasn't black and white. I didn't even know he was black and white until I watched Generation 1. I always just thought he was blue and white, you know? the. But, um... Yeah. No, I I like the way he turned out. I've been happy with all the um Cyberverse figures. Um so you can see there are definitely similarities in the way that they've been engineered to transform uh the two of them. Um which isn't a bad thing. The Siege Prowl transformation sequences uh pretty easy um and because it's uh cyber versus geared towards kids it'd be a simpler transformation for them um he just didn't want to agree with me so he obviously decided not to um but here's his trusty gun um uh, they never actually seem to give him an acid pellet rifle which is what he's always been known for uh, but he did come with a couple of blast effects because unlike the uh, previous deluxe figures who came with uh, McAdam, or parts of McAdam, I should say, these three deluxes just came with uh, effects parts. So uh, these are what Prowl came with and he just attached them to his uh, shoulder cannons. And... Voila, he's shooting someone down. Uh, probably Shadow Striker. Or maybe Grimlock's ticked him off again. I don't know. Um, but I quite like the way he looks. I just don't like the fact he wouldn't transform for me. The evil... I'm not going to finish that sentence. <laughs> but um, if you're... Prowl fan and you're not picky about uh, what line you take the toy from, I would recommend getting the deluxe one. Um, for me personally, he is the best version that's come out of that line. Uh, if you're wanting to be more true to G1, then I go after Siege or Earthrise um, for what you're looking for. Uh, but otherwise, um, you know, any Prowl is a winner really um but that's just me because as i said he's my favorite character so i'm always gonna favor him over most others um but in the meantime that's it from me so stay safe stay kind to each other and remember to smile because you are beautiful you are unique and you should own it